What's up, guys? It's your girl, Danny Elmore with IT TV. We are in Lower Manhattan at 508th Avenue, and we're about to go upstairs to the penthouse in Pearl Studios to check out this awesome Soconomics class. Things may be getting cold in NYC, but things are definitely heating up upstairs. Let's go check it out. What's up, guys? I'm here with Selena Watkins, the creator and main dance instructor at Soconomics. How are you doing today, Selena? I'm doing very well. Thank you for coming today. Thank you so much for having us. Guys, this class is amazing. If you want an awesome workout without feeling like you're working out, you definitely have to check us out. So let's get right into it. Selena, tell me what exactly started and inspired the Soconomics dance class that you have going on today. Well, I trained as a, I'm a classically trained professional dancer and I work as a professional dancer now and I realized that a lot of my movement stemmed from the groundedness of studying African dance for so long and from being from the West Indies. So the soca culture and the soca music was always in kind of the way I moved and so when I started to teach dance classes, I realized that I preferred teaching Caribbean dance classes. Uh, I gave it a name and then it, it turned into a whole Soconomics dance movement. So now Soconomics is more of a company that promotes the performing arts, dance classes and workshops, travel, events, music. So I'm not just promoting myself, I'm promoting other instructors, DJs, uh, travel agents, all who are trying to focus on uniting the African diaspora and bringing Caribbean culture to the mainstream and not just keeping that experience to ourselves. Right, right. And how long have you been teaching these classes? It's been a year now, a year. I usually teach the workshop once a month. I'm busy uh, as a dancer for the Brooklyn Nets, so I try to incorporate it into my schedule as much as possible so that I'm still giving everybody what they want as often as possible. Gotcha, gotcha. So tell us more about the soca dance movement in general and how it's came into the States. Well, you know, soca music was underground for a long time. It kind of still is when you ask people what soca music is, they don't know. They only know what reggae and dance hall music are, or they know what African music is. And Africa is a whole continent, so there's tons of different types of music with each country and different regions. So when they hear soca, they're just completely clueless. So I feel like it's my duty to kind of bring the music more to the forefront and the dancing. And so soca dance really is just a collection of West African dance, and some, it has some little bit of dance hall vibe, some traditional folk dance movement, and it's just a big melting pot because essentially that is what the uh, Caribbean islands are. You know, the native Indians that were there, the settlers that came to the island, and then the African slaves. So the people of the culture are a mix of everything. The, the people from Spain, from, from France, from Britain, mixed with the Africans, mixed with the Indians. So when you see a West Indian, they always look like a different person. You never really know. Right. Yeah, so that's true. what the Soka uh, dance movement has become. It's just a big melting pot of everything we experience in the Caribbean islands. Awesome. That yeah. is very cool to know that it all stemmed from something like that. Tell me, what would you say is the most rewarding part of teaching a class like this? I think the most rewarding part is just kind of reflecting what the carnival emotion is like because, you know, carnival is important. For every island, every year you're preparing for the next carnival. And mm -hmm. Trinidad has the biggest carnival since that's where soca, uh, soca music started. Okay. So carnival is just, it has this feeling of bacana, which is, you know, like craziness and high emotion, high life. So this kind of gives you the image of being in carnival. Even though we're here in New York City in a classroom dancing in a mirror, yeah, you, feel like, you feel like you're at carnival. And right. I think that's the most re rewarding part for me, yeah. That's awesome. 
Very, very cool. And most importantly, let people know how they can get registered for the class if they want to come yes. and dance. Uh, Soconomics.eventbrite.com. The website, Soconomics.com, will be up soon before 2014. But for now, register once a month, Soconomics.eventbrite.com. And if you guys need any more of an example and reason why to come to this class, just peek in this window right here and see all the awesome dancing and teaching and learning that's going on. These girls aren't just dancing, they're shaking, they're twerking, they're doing a little bit of everything. So I just witnessed Soconomics for the very first time. It was an amazing experience. And I have two of the ladies that were actually instructing the dance class. We already spoke a little bit with Selena. Selena, before we continue, tell me a little bit about the flag. I saw that it was a really important part of the class. Explain a little bit to me about the one you have. Well, this is uh, where I'm from. I'm from Antigua and Barbuda. And I always like to represent wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Although Soca music started in Trinidad and Tobago. And so that's why I had LaShawn Prescott here teaching today. She's from Trinidad. And I've looked up to her for so long because she's been the dance captain for the soca music king of the world, Basho Montano. Wow. So she's here in New York now, so I just took advantage of having her here to help keep spreading the soca dance movement. So I'm glad to have her here with me. Very cool. And how long have you been dancing? Oh, my God. I've been dancing for a million and seven years. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I've been with Marshall Montano for seven years, a whole seven. I'm not with him anymore. I'm studying in school. And my to school for the arts, Marshall, second, second year is my second and final year here in New York, and I'm whining and jumping and weaving and having a time. Whining, grinding, and all of the above. And really quick, ladies, let, them, let the public know where they can find you on Facebook and everything. You can find me at facebook.com slash Soconomics and soon Soconomics.com. Okay, and you? LaShawn Prescott, L-A-S-H-A-U-N-P-R-E-S-C-O-T-T, LaShawnPrescott.com, or Facebook, backslash LaShawn Prescott. Ladies, please give me one dance move I can take with me to any soca dance hall reggae party that I go to. Let, let me see something. Oh, hey, hey, hey. How am I doing? How am I doing? <laughs> Woo! There you go. There you have it, ladies. Take that with you to the parties. <laughs>